Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video guys, we're gonna review the game Luigi's Mansion 2 and test it out in the same time and to see how good it actually runs on the several updates that we got right now on the Canary build of the C2 emulator and um, so far I searched the web and I uh, never seen like any test proofs and whatnot. They always saying it has the baddest audio, it doesn't run good and it's run slow. But I want to see it for myself and I uh, want to show you how playable it is, is possible at this time. With anything further ado guys, let's hop right into my desktop and I'm going to see you there. Welcome back. Now that we are at my desktop and as you might see, uh, I'm running right now on the Citra emulator at the newest build, uh, Luigi Mansion 2. As you might see it as well. I'm going to get my controller here. And by the way guys, if you want me to do a tutorial on uh, the PS4 controller, how to use it on your PC, because the Windows is still not compatible with the PS4 controller, I definitely totally understand, because it's Sony and this is Windows, so uh, only Xbox controllers are compatible with this kind of control, with kind of with the Windows. But if you want to make it compatible, let me know in the comment uh, section below, and I will make, uh, I will be happy to make a tutorial for you how to actually use it as a controller for your PC games or for your emulators. With anything further ado, um, let's review our Luigi's Mansion 2 and let's see how good we can keep it running and how much frames we're gonna get. So I'm gonna show first how it how it performs at its title screen. And I did already play it a little bit, so so far we're getting 18 FPS at right now. Um, I have it at automatically uh, screen size, so but I think but I think it's 720p. So it's uh, times three native resolution. So as we as you might see right now, we're having. All right, I can move to this. Complete the certain combo. Okay, this is something I cannot move to right now. So the first mission is this one. When it goes to the graphical graphical problems there is no graphic problem so far I can see I see no glitch I see no tearing I see nothing at that I see the cleanness what I think is really good from what I'm seeing at the FPS so far so let's keep going I just I just want to show you a little bit of the cutscene how it performs and then I will we will jump to a actual gameplay and see how it's perform here so so far we're getting at 13 FPS I'm not quite impressed let let's I'm gonna keep clicking here because guys I I did it um, many times like really many times so what I want to show you is as well I want to go to emulation configuration and graphics I have ticked enabled how to render Inter resolution enable hardware shader. I just clicked accurate multi location because it takes the quiet of performance in most of the games. Accurate geometry shader, I keep it on and enable shader GAT, I have it on as well because this is for, that this gives performance for your games. So, so you all just know with what I'm working right now. I try to unclick the most of them and they do no difference when it goes to performance. There's one cutscene in this in this game I want to show you where we where we get a really good performance increase. 60 FPS stable. Then when we go to come to the like more heavier environment where the 3D rendering is acquired, the game will actually slow down again and drops down almost to 13. 14 FPS Now when it goes to the game audio of this game I would rather say we are not even close to 2% uh, Of the game audio, but if it goes to the graphical issues and whatnot I definitely can say and without even like to Even think about it. I can tell you we are 100% here. There will be no graphical issues whatever but when it goes to the performance, we're not there, we, we, we barely at 21%, as you might see, I don't even have to guess because it's set, speed, game speed at 20, 21, 
percent we there so we have still 80 percent to work on that we get actually the game at full speed running so we will you will experience a very high fps boost as you might see we are at 45 44 all right this it's a different it's different from time to time last time i start i got actually 60 fps on it but it looks still with 44 fps really smooth in my opinion as i told you here we're getting a 8 or 10 fps now i'm gonna see you when the gameplay starts all right <clears throat> welcome back again this is here where the gameplay actually start where you what what i mean you might ask yourself my emu um the game already start the gameplay and whatnot note in my opinion if you cannot control the character the gameplay didn't start now when it goes to the gameplay once again i don't see any graphical glitches i don't see any tearing um the game looks perfectly fine but when it goes to the fps we gain uh 15 fps so far at this automatically resolution thing like automatically uh, um, oh my god automatically window size if i'm not wrong let's see automatic window size window size we getting 15 fps now you might asking yourself what would happen i gonna what would happen if i go actually to native resolution right that is actually the 3ds original resolution of course we will get a fps boost but it is not the kind of boost that you like gonna expect you begin like a, like a 20 percent percentage kind of uh, increase what is actually kind of impressive because it that that put us at 40 uh, percent so you we have only 60 repents from 60 percent to go i'm gonna play a little bit on this kind of uh, resolution then i'm gonna switch again just only to show you uh, this game is kind of uh, cutscene heavy i don't think ever anybody likes that kind of shit but he's only here to tell you that you can move come on sorry for the clicking but i just want to go move on with this so when you play at native resolution guys you will get 23 to 27 fps of course you don't see any 27 right now but as you might see it's definitely smoother but when it goes to graphics for the, the graphics and whatnot the quality of the game it's it is like it is it looks as you play on a 3ds yes so with all that um all that said guys this is this is what i can tell you so now my opinion on on this game and on on the latest i run it on the latest okay so this was this was the native i'm gonna change it oh i'm gonna change it again to this automatically what is seven what it, and by the way auto window size guys is uh, obviously uh, native 3 it is 720p so i'm gonna put just an automatic it's gonna change drift uh, dramatically when it goes to the graphics and of course the fps will drop a little bit now in my opinion is the game audio there no not at all it is not even a two percent there because it's a massive glitch now when it goes is the game playable fully playable yes obvious uh, without a doubt now any graphic glitches no tears not even once um, um when but when it goes is it enjoyable at it at 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 like 16 and, and 17 fps definitely not so in my opinion this game is not even close to being playable and this was my review actually guys on the uh, luigi's mansion 2 for the 3ds citra simu emulator for your pc uh, I, I, I tried actually to watch anyone that's like tried to review it but nobody did that because they don't want to go to the struggle of the beginning of the game because there's a big kinds of cutscene and the, mu the the sound is just oh my god and it's taught me it takes me like a half an hour to get through all the cutscenes and clicking and whatnot but this is my review on, on Luigi's Mansion 2 it is not it is not enjoyable at, at 20 fps and at native it looks terrible 
So with this all saying guys, uh, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and bye else, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming and I'm almost freaking out of here because I want to tell you if uh, my if you want to know my uh, PC specs or computer specs, they're gonna be in the comment section below. With that all said guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and bye else, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.